Earlier this week, we told you about a story involving grandparent scams in Port St. Lucie. Police said suspects stole nearly $100,000 from elderly victims. And then one Palm Beach County woman who saw our report realized she had been a recent target of the same crime, reaching out to us to tell her story. So Jinam shares what you need to know to avoid becoming a victim. On Tuesday, 76-year-old Barbara Myers got an urgent phone call from someone posing to be her teenage grandson. Telling me he was in jail and he was in an accident. And there was a lady that was seven months pregnant and he didn't know if she was going to be okay. And I'm like, Brian, you're, you don't even have a driver's license. And what are you doing in Florida with a 561 number? She says the scammer sounded familiar. Well, that sounds like my Brian, but now, is this true? The scammer then gave her a number to a so-called lawyer. The attorney says, well, his bond is $10,000. Can you wire that to us? And I said, what? And then he said, well, if you don't have $10,000, you can send $500 offshore. Barbara reached out to her son and daughter-in-law and was waiting to hear back from them. In the meantime, she called nearby detention centers to see if this was true. And the lady said, no, I'm sorry, he's not here. I think you've got a scam on your hands. She then got her daughter-in-law on the phone who confirmed that Brian was in school and that this, in fact, was all a scam. Experts say, unfortunately, grandparent scams are far too common. They're a target just because of their gray hair. Knowing the signs and what to do can go a long way. They can verify with their relatives or they can call the facility, or they can call the police. Pause, take a breath, get their number, which they're not going to give you. And that's a really good sign that it's not legitimate. As for Barbara, she is relieved she did the right thing. I think I need a drink, but I don't drink. <laughs> In Palm Beach County, Sujinam, WPBF 25 News.